been the MVP had the Patriots pulled that one out. Yeah, he still has five rings, though, five Super Bowl titles for Brady. The Rams on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Gong. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They are going for it. Gone. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. The runner-up New England Patriots offense back onto the field. And I wanted to get your thoughts on the offense for this crew as they go into 2018. How do they stack up, Charles? Typically, New England, pretty darn stable. One of the goals going into the offseason was to try and hold on to running back Deion Lewis because coupled with James White, that's a heck of a tandem. Of course, the big fella, Kronk. You know, you find him another All-Pro year in 2017. And remember, before 2017 began, they picked up Brandon Cooks in a trade at wide receiver. That paid off in a big way. He had his third straight 1,000-yard season in the NFL. And then, of course, there's Danny Amendola, Chris Hogan, and they expect to get back Julian Edelman for all of 2018, coming off of a knee injury. Third down, Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Rob Gronkowski in the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And now running right through it. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. The final shot before break here. Golf going up top for Cup. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. And pump the brakes, Larry. Pump the brakes. We are ready for quarter number three. That'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here's Goff now on second down. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. And yes, home is where the heart is. And for Robert Woods, it's Los Angeles. He played college football at USC right here in this stadium. And probably feels comfortable out there. He was an All-American as a Trojan in 2011. Yeah, really trained to be an NFL player. I mean, he watched a lot of NFL cut-ups and tapes of wide receivers while he was in college before joining him on this stage. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. Off play action. Here's Golf. And this is caught by Watkins. Sammy Watkins, he's going to go. Touchdown, L.A. Sammy Watkins, 59 yards. 
And the Rams have got this back to a one score game. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. <laughs> All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Brady now on first down. He's going to sling this deep downfield. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. They'll run it now out of the gun. With about six up past the 30 to the 31. And there's a run to be happy with. Big solid yardage. He'll take that anytime you hand the ball to a back. From the gun on third down, Brady. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Brady to Gronkowski. They make it look easy, don't they? And it's a Patriot first down. They go play action here on first down. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Here's Gurley. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. Pass the 20. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have taken the lead. Now he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. They had that lead. It looked pretty comfortable in the first half. Maybe got a little bit overconfident because that's gone now. Almost takes us back to being kids, doesn't it? Because I know at some point your dad did the exact same thing mine did. Okay. It's okay to be confident, son, but overconfident, <laughs> that's not a good thing. And that's maybe what we saw here. They thought they had this thing in hand, had full control, and guess what? They've got to find a way to get back to where they were before. You think Papa Davis and Papa Gordon would get along? I think they'd get along just fine. And you know something? They'd still be giving us advice. Absolutely. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. They'll run it now out of the gun. Nice move by Lewis. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. 
Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. And on second and ten now. Now a play fake. Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. Third down here. So this is what happens when you throw interceptions. That confident veneer that you have is chipped away a little bit. Maybe a little bit gun shot throwing it around. Yeah, under throwing him there. And you're right. Those interceptions maybe in the back of his mind. Going up top. So they took a shot there on third down. Couldn't get it. Now it's four. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll go for it. It's Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off here the 29. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Gone. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Goff now looks to throw. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play. But it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target. Guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it up. Todd Gurley. Wave goodbye. Touchdown, L.A. Todd Gurley. 44 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Man, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Brady will try again on second down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. He's picked off at his own 46.